In today's podcast episode, I want to discuss what the Divine Masculine Twin Flame finds attractive about his Divine Feminine counterparts. Now, the reason I want to create this podcast is because so often we as twin flames, because we are human, because we are raised with very 3D programs around love, relationship, and attraction, very often we have these misconstrued ideas and notions about what our twin flame finds attractive about us and because of this very often we as especially the divine feminine for those of you who do connect here as the divine feminine twin flame we will often step into this kind of pushing chasing energy with our divine masculine counterpart because that is what we are trained to do we are trained and taught and programmed to act and behave in certain ways to try to cater to others and specifically in love and romance to cause others to feel attracted to us. But the thing about twin flame attraction is that it is entirely energetically based. So in this podcast, I hope this helps to shed some lights on how twin flames truly are attracted to one another, not just in the superficial kind of sense, in the 3D sense of the word attraction, but how that, that attraction is actually working at the soul level, at the energy level. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. If you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe because by subscribing, you are actually transmitting some of your energy to this space, to this community. And as a result, I'm able to pick up on your energy and channel more specifically for you and your situation, both in this video and also in future videos as well. So twin flame attraction is entirely energetically based. And what I mean by this is twin flames are attracted to one another at the energy level because the law of attraction, which is the most dominant law governing our universe, states that what is like unto itself is drawn. Now, when it comes to attraction between people, between souls, when there is soul attraction between two individuals, this means that they are quite literally being pulled together because their souls are similar. They share a similar soul frequency. We often refer to those who share a similar soul frequency to our own as our soul family. Collectively, we call these individuals our soulmates, and we can use that word soulmates in both the platonic and romantic sense. The unique thing though about twin flames is that twin flames are not only part of the same soul family, soul mates, so to speak, but two twin souls are the only souls who share an identical core soul frequency. When we talk about twin flames being divine counterparts, we mean that they originated together, that they were created 
at the same time in the universe and therefore share the same core soul frequency. So again, while soulmates can have a similar frequency, twin flames are exactly the same. So going back to the law of attraction, what is like unto itself is drawn. Therefore, two twin flame souls could not possibly be unattracted to one another. There could not possibly be a lack of attraction at the soul level. Now, of course, this can sound kind of confusing because in the 3D world, some of us may have been in situations where our twin flame may have said to us that they were not attracted or they could have acted in a way that caused us to believe that they were not attracted to us. However, true twin flame souls, regardless of how they behave or consciously think or act in the physical world, there must be attraction between twin flames. It is inevitable. In fact, twin flames share a unique form of attraction. They will be naturally by the law of attraction because of the sameness of their soul essence attracted to one another more so than any other person or soul could attract them on the planet. Now, what confuses this twin flame attraction even further is that what we're talking about when we talk about being attracted by soul frequency, by the sameness of your soul frequency, what often creates physical separation between twin flames or causes a kind of repelling effect in the physical in contrast to the natural attraction, the natural pulling together of twin flames is that very often, in fact, almost always, we are trained through our physical lifetime. We are programmed to actually cloud our own core soul frequency to kind of layer over or mask that frequency with these layers of programming, limiting belief systems, and negative ideas about ourselves or about love and relationship and life generally that cause this frequency to to become a bit distorted, again, to be somewhat masked. And when we are living in this way, which essentially is living in a way that is inauthentic to who we truly are at the soul level, this distortion of our soul frequency can make it more difficult for us to naturally gravitate toward and attract in soulmate connections and, of course, the highest level soulmate connection, our twin flame connection into our life. Because while we might share a similar core soul frequency to these other souls, when we're layering our authenticity with layers of artificial programming, it makes it more difficult for those souls who are like us to respond to that frequency. Now, on the other side of this equation, when we're living from a very clear, pure, authentic space, we become extremely magnetic for all forms of soul connection soulmates of course included both platonically and romantically but most of all and most relevant to many of you who were drawn to this video is that when we are living authentically true to ourselves this is actually what quite literally makes us attractive to our twin and when i say makes us attractive I'm not talking about anything visual, anything physical, anything 3D, although the conscious mind can sometimes interpret this feeling of energetic pull, energetic attraction as feeling attracted to specific physical things or features about the person. What is really causing the feeling of attraction is that soul deep resonance with this other soul. Again, in the case of these authentic soul connections, 
So what twin flames and specifically going back to our initial question, what does the divine masculine find so attractive about the divine feminine? I am going to be sharing with you a few specific examples of things your divine masculine will find or does find attractive about you. But the reason I gave this introductory explanation is because everything I'm going to share with you is really just a manifestation and effects of the divine feminine living from a more authentic space of being really getting in touch with and radiating more of her pure soul frequency which is then in turn what is causing this soul deep attraction between herself and the masculine that the masculine in this case is now consciously registering as feelings of pull toward the feminine as feelings of attraction so the first thing the divine masculine finds attractive about the divine feminine is when she is fully self-confident and embracing her true inner sense of self-worth not living through the eyes or perceptions of her created by others not living through the eyes of others but truly allowing herself to to live and be and exist as she desires herself to be and feeling confident in that and the reason the divine masculine finds this attractive about the feminine is because it is the effect of the divine feminine unraveling some of that negative programming that the wounded feminine collectively creates which is that program of i am not blank enough you can fill in the blank but usually it's i'm not young enough or pretty enough or successful enough by 3d standards whatever the case is and it is replacing those programs of not enoughness with i am enough exactly as i am right here in this moment that kind of true authentic inner confidence and total self-acceptance is extremely magnetic to the divine masculine the second thing about the divine feminine that is very attractive to the divine masculine is when she is allowing herself to be fully present. In fact, what we could refer to as true presence, whether it's masculine presence on the side of the divine masculine or feminine presence on the side of the feminine is one of the most attractive traits that twin flames feel drawn to in one another. Now, what do I mean by presence? This means that when the divine feminine is truly present, she is not concerned or worried about the future. She is not worried about how she is going to be supported, how she is going to provide for herself. She fully trusts that everything she needs will come to her. She trusts the unfolding of her life, the timing of her life enough to allow herself to give herself permission to live fully in the here and now. And in any moment, she is truly doing this, no longer allowing herself to be pulled back into spiraling thoughts about the past or to project fears and worries into the future when she truly has the the confidence in both her capability and in the abundant universe that is always going to provide her with what she needs the presence that allows her to experience and to share with others is instantaneously very very magnetic and attractive to the masculine the third thing the divine masculine finds very attractive about the divine feminine is a divine feminine who believes that she is truly magnetic in the sense that she doesn't need to push or chase what she wants. 
In fact, this is one of the most most challenging dynamics for divine feminines to overcome this dynamic of feeling the need to prove something to others to prove our worth or blocking blocking our receptive energy in some way now this can come in many different forms but an example of blocking your receptive energy as the divine feminine, a very simple example is that many divine feminines struggle to accept support, assistance, and other things that they are offered by others, even something as seemingly small as a compliment. So a good test as a divine feminine as to whether you are a good receiver is to really look at in this simple example, how you are able to, or how you reject compliments that are given to you. When someone gives you a kind word, do you instantaneously gloss over it? Do you even reject it? Do you respond by saying, no, that's not true. If someone calls you, beautiful or compliments one of your accomplishments do you instantaneously make excuses as to why that's really not something you should be that proud of or that happy about with yourself or do you again just deny the compliment altogether very often the way you accept kind words and compliments really reflects in how you receive all sorts of things in your life and therefore where you are at in regards to your ability to open yourself to receiving as you continue to expand and heal your divine feminine energy you will find that you begin to release your need to control, to prove something about yourself to others, to work so, so hard. Again, with that feeling of urgency to prove, to prove something to other people or to prove something to yourself. And you really begin to step into that effortless flow of your life. And whenever you are in that flow state, really allowing yourself to be open to receiving, really slowing down the pace of your life and allowing yourself again to have that presence, to simply be, but also to be fully open to receiving, the divine masculine finds that that open receptive energy extremely attractive from the divine feminine so i would love to share more on this topic if you would like a part two to this podcast video so let me know in the comments if any of this resonated with you and if you would like a second part to this video if you are resonating with this content, I am going to leave a link to the Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal Meditation that I've created because I am sure that many of you listening do resonate as the Divine Feminine. If not, I do have one of these subliminals for the Divine Masculine as well. So you can explore both of those on my subliminal site, soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen, on this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence and happiness, for material manifestations, for love and relationships. And of course, I have several subliminals for twin flames specifically. Now, this Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal is really designed specifically for healing your wounded feminine energy. And the beautiful thing about this is as you really begin to awaken your inner divine feminine and embody that awakened state of the feminine, you will find yourself stepping into the ease and flow of your life more and more, really becoming magnetic and receptive to your desires. And also if you are in a twin flame connection, your divine masculine counterpart will feel 
this shift in your feminine energy instantaneously and begin to respond to it as well. So it can really result in beautiful changes and transformations, not only in your life, but in your twin flame connection as well. So the link to the Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box under this video if you do feel guided to exploring more about it. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next podcast.